7112 South Connor Street, Sacramento, and I'm talking about the why. I know a number of people have um, have run on the fact that they were going to take away the why. Um, Queen Anne's County has nothing, and Centerville has even less. And a why isn't just the pool. It's more of a community center. It supports uh, families. It supports um, young people. We have nothing in the area. You know, if you go to Easton, they have why. They have the pools. They have. Um, all kinds of things that the kids and people can do. Centerville has nothing. I mean, they took away our senior center. Um, there, there just is nothing here for the kids except for the drug problem that we have. And I'm hoping that we can stem some of that by opening up a Y. I'll be more than willing to try and work with anybody in getting this going, I, I just feel that that we need to be heard, that there's a lot of things that you all are going to spend your money on this term. And you know, I, I'm not interested in some of the other things that are planning on being spent, but I am interested in this. I've been trying for 22 years to get something in Centerville since I've been here. And and everything that we've tried has been shot down. So I'm really hoping that I can count on you all to support the people of Queen Anne's County in trying to take care of them. Thank you. Thank you. Tim McCluskey? Commissioner Sanchez, I'm Tim McCluskey. I'm a member of the town council of Centerville, and I'm also a, a resident of Centerville. I'm coming here this morning not as a representative of, of the town council, but as an individual. I wanted to welcome you all, thank you all for your service. I'm here to talk also about the YMCA. Uh, you know, I, there, there's been a lot of talk about different things about how, where the money is coming from. It is coming from, uh, or it's proposed to come from the economic transfer tax, uh, or, or transfer tax for properties. Uh, specifically earmarked for economic development. I encourage, I'm, I'm very glad to see that you're uh, interested in economic development. I think that a YMCA in Centerville would be a huge economic engine. Um, what I would encourage you to do is, you know, it's, it's a complicated issue, there's no doubt about it. Two administrations previously to you, the past two, have about to endorse this, this YMCA. Uh, what I would recommend that you do is put together a group uh, with some commissioners, with some representatives from the YMCA, and some representatives from the town of Centerville to come and see if there's a way to make this thing work. If it's not about putting putting this kind of money in for the economic development tax uh, towards it, I'm sure that there's probably a way. But as I'm sure you all know as well, there, there are two things that can go on that property as the way that the public works agreement is written. Uh, that's a government building and it's a YMCA type facility. So I think that there's a way to get through this. I think there's a way to get a YMCA here. And I, I, I encourage that you do that. Thank you. Thank you. Barbara Hobart. I'm sorry, no, uh, Mary, Mary it's Jane Gray, I'm sorry. You're next. Sorry. So, I'm Mary Drake, and I live here in the town of Centerville, and I am a product of the YMCA. Uh, I think it was the YWCA when I went there. I even created <coughs> the YWCA because back then you couldn't live there at the Y. They were wonderful. They aren't just a gym. They're not just a pool and exercise facilities. They teach children the moral code, ethics. They allow different races and ethnic groups to meet each other, join together. Uh, they teach you about health. Uh, education is a big component of today's wise. They mentor kids who are having problems in school. They help them with their SATs. They have family gatherings together so that parents can learn how to take care of their children. And I've heard in the past that it's going to cost too much for the poor to go to. My parents didn't pay for me to go to Hawaii. They have scholarships. They have financial aid for the people who cannot afford it. Everybody who wants to go can go. And it will provide jobs. They're open every day but Sunday, 
and they have more than one shift, and it will provide some jobs. But I think why is wonderful. And I say, I'm for it. And if you want to raise my taxes, go ahead. Because I would care about more about the people than the taxes. Now, I know I don't have a long way to go, but still, please, please put in this why. And not, you know, it seems to me that what happens here, everywhere, in, in the world probably, we talk about it and we say, go ahead, and then all the politicians change, and we're, then they start again. I don't know how many years this has been in the making, but it's been way too long. It should be done as fast as this county office building has been done. Right, thank you. And please vote yes. Hi, I'm Carrie O'Connor. I'm uh, at 602 Little Kid Hill Avenue. And I want to say uh, congratulations to all of you and welcome. Um, and of course, it's been a surprise I'm here to talk about the Y. Um, I wanted to just point out that the Y is going to provide $650,000 in financial assistance to over 7,000 people. I had a conversation with Steve Wilson not too long ago about his concern that some of that financial system would go to families who are simply making poor choices. Um, and I can assure you that uh, this is not a scenario where a family is getting a free membership because they've chosen to buy an Xbox or a pair of Uggs or they're eating filet and yawn every day. So these are people that truly need it. Um, that was my first point. Second point is, I, I hear a lot about how you don't want tax dollars to go toward a business that competes with private business. And I thought about the Economic Development Incentive Fund, which is actually comprised of tax dollars. So essentially, I may get incorrect, but isn't that a scenario where we're using tax dollars to go toward a business that might compete with other businesses? That's one point I wanted to make. Uh, a lot of people say, why the $4 million? Well, the $4 million is because right now it's a QAC-owned facility. You don't want to own it, then renegotiate. Uh, a lot of people say, what about St. Mike's? They had it um, on no taxpayer dollar. Well, again, they don't own the facility, so there's a difference about the structure of the deal. Um, I support uh, Jim Moran's notion of having YMCA put up six and the county put up two. I don't know how that would work out in terms of ownership, but that's certainly a starting point. Um, as Tim mentioned, only the Y can go on that particular piece of land. So I think you guys are very pro-economic growth. Might as well stick a Y there, and then there's two paths for development, have a restaurant go near it, then you're having economic development because you're bringing in a flow of people rather than just a government building or having it sit empty. That's a big picture of looking at it that way. Um, another issue I want to point out, that Brett says, hey, what about the Y? They haven't raised any money yet you got to think about the position they're in. It's a little awkward. It's kind of like a bad wedding where you know it's not going to work out, so you buy a really cheap gift. Because honestly, <laughs> honestly, how's the buyer going to raise much money when the one partner is looking a little sketchy, like they're not going to really stick around for the deal? So I ask that you guys please take a look at recommitting to the partnership in some format. If you don't like the current one, then renegotiate. Work out a new one. Um, but some level of commitment needs to happen before the YMCA can get out there and get any big donors. Thank you so much, and good luck in your